So for a month, how much is it? $50,000. What? Nah. <laughs> I was like, I didn't agree to that. What do we got, Parker? Look at this. This is the most Dubai thing ever. He's kind of mobbing with the freaking rolls on the front of his vehicle. Well, guys, I cannot believe I'm saying this, but this is my new home for the next month in the Dubai Marina. Yes, that's right. Somehow I got convinced by Archie Hamilton to go to the Middle East for a full month. Yeah. Was this a good idea? <laughs> I think it's a good idea. Show them, are you gonna show them around? I'm gonna do a full house tour after we uh, get finished with today's yeah, activities. Because it, no, mine's worse, don't worry. All right, it doesn't get much more Dubai than this. I got picked up last night from the airport in the new G-Wagon. No. This is fancy. This is fancy. God, I love the ambient lighting in these new Mercedes. It hasn't fully set in yet that we are in the Middle East and we're gonna be here for a very long time. The last time I came to Dubai was actually in 2018 on a rally. I believe it was called Catch the Camel. I was out here with Stradman and Supercars of London and a few other YouTubers, but really our itinerary was booked because it was a rally. So every day we had activities and we were going to different places. I think it was your idea. Why are we even here? I, I'm uh, so excited we're I here, but whose like, idea was this? It was, I think it was my idea. I, I was here last year and I was like, you know what? I didn't do it that well last year. I got COVID and locked up for about a month. <laughs> no, so now you're in quarantine here? For, I think it was 10, 10 days. And if you left your room or something like that, 20,000 pound fine. Damn. Yeah. That's intense. Yeah. I think every day this time, stuff will happen. So I was like, what, you, you're gonna sit in LA and I'm gonna sit in London. Raining in London, might as well just go somewhere else. A hundred percent. So we're both single, so why not? What? No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> I do have to say, I am quite fond of the new generation of G-Wagon. Pretty cool interior color combination as well. I love the fact that they've got the updated dash from the S-Class. The new G-Wagon came out about six months after I got my new E63. And I actually did a video I think it was with Seen Through Glass and Supercars of London, actually, in London, taking delivery of the first G63 in the country. And I remember thinking, wow, they actually fixed this car. It used to ride like a bag of bricks, and now it actually rides nice, the it's quality right, is it's nice. It's, it's actually pretty it's cool. Not bad. This could be a cool daily. So I was thinking, oh man, did I mess up with my E63? Should I have waited and got this? The only reason is, obviously, totally different cars. Value. The E63s, every single generation, depreciate like crazy. Except for right now because of the whole V8 thing and shortage of parts, they're doing pretty decent. But over generations, E63s have always tanked. These have not. And this generation of car, I'm curious what they cost and I'll ask you first. In the UK, what would a brand new one of these cost? Is there dealer markup? Uh, 150,000, no, 160,000 pounds if you can get one, but there's like a two year wait list. Okay, so, so it's similar to the, at one point in the US, people were asking $330,000 for one. And to give you an idea, MSRP is 160. So twice the value. Right, if, if, if you got one in the UK, you could drive around for free. And yeah. that's the same thing that's happening in the UK 100%. now with Range Rovers as well. Like you, I've got a new Range Rovers coming. Um, and oh, yeah, you congrats. Can, yeah, so that, yeah, and then you can drive, you can go around and drive that for free for yeah, like 40K over already now. Damn. So I'm gonna be doing a full review of this car. We've got something really exciting where we're headed right now, but I'm saving that for another video. Archie and I just got finished filming one of the most ridiculous videos ever at a crashed supercar lot. And there's one car there that I think I'm actually going to buy or at least put a bid on. So stay tuned for tomorrow's video because I think you're gonna like the car. Look at that, just a casual rake sitting there. This really is a good looking SUV. You got a good title for something? <laughs> How crazy is this building? The architecture out here in Dubai is insane. What do we got, Parker? Look at this. This is the most Dubai thing ever. We're just casually going to dinner in the G-Wagon, and this guy's got one of the prettiest spec Senna's I've ever seen. Look at that golf livery. Don't rear-end him. I will not rear-end him, but I will pull up right next to him, make him feel like, oh, no. No, I will not. <laughs> About to go for lunch, but figured it'd be a good opportunity to give you guys a little house tour. So let me show you. So we actually found this place, Archie did, on Airbnb. And I think it's pretty nice. It's modern, it's big enough for us to have our own areas. I really like the kitchen, just how it's built into the wall there. Kind of cool. 
We've got our editing station right here. I'll show you the view later on that you saw at the beginning of the video. I've got my own bathroom in here, which is nice. And then here is my bedroom, which has a lovely view of the marina. I mean, that is ridiculous. Sometimes when you see pictures of things online, you get worried that is it actually going to be uh, as pretty as it is in pictures, but this place did not disappoint whatsoever. Here is Archie's room. He said to mention that he's a complete slob. <laughs> There's stuff everywhere. And then he has access to, nope. Go ahead and spy on whatever this fool is doing out here. What you want? Are you on Tinder? No. <laughs> No, I won't say nothing. All right, cool. <laughs> Look at the view. I gave you credit for finding this place. You killed it. It took me about three weeks out. Yeah, it's actually insane. On, Air on Airbnb, it took me a long time to actually find. Did you know what, like, what I was saying to you last night? You find somewhere, but you don't know whether it's going to look like it in the picture. Yeah, this yeah, yeah. better. No, it does look better. Yeah. I thought, you know, they had a picture of the and, view. And oh. it works well because we're single, right? Yeah. So, we're both single. Why do you keep saying that? <laughs> My girlfriend's gonna kill me. <laughs> but it works well, right? It does work well for you. No, no, no. <laughs> Only for you. All right, anyways. You know, I thought maybe it's gonna show a picture of the view from a different apartment, but this is pretty crazy. We're gonna go for a walk, show you guys some more of the marina, but wow. All right, look at this view. We got the livery. The the fake Shelby badge on the front and a fake GT500 logo. <laughs> How incredible is this? Like a five second walk and we are on the water in the marina. This animal went for a run the other day after literally dying in an iron What? So what happened? You had a, you had a uh, heart so, attack? No, well, it's more complicated than that. I made my heart just, uh, just collapsed basically while doing an iron man. Well, I'm glad you're here well, because I'm fine. I, I actually, Thought he wasn't gonna be fine. Yeah, yeah, I'm, fi I'm fine now. So I, uh, I thought I'd go for another run while I'm. Yeah, that makes sense. Had a couple Red Bulls out <laughs> yeah. of you know. No, 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 that, I, that, that. Never again. No. All right. And look at this. We've got pirate ships in the water. Kind of cool, actually. The other thing I love about this place is you always feel safe, and it is so clean. I mean, there is no trash anywhere. This has to be the cleanest city I have ever seen in my entire life. And Archie was saying that. If you left your iPhone on a bench or something like that, it'd probably still be there a week later, which is unbelievable. It's actually true. I wish the US was well, like that. Well, I think so. Yeah, it's certainly not like that where I live or Should in London. You do it with your, actually, with your laptop and your G7X, all of your filming equipment, all your SD cards, and then let's see what happens next week. Let's come get it in a week. I know this because I know a few people that live out here. Uh, basically, uh, if you were going to rent a property, uh, you have to pay the whole year up front. So, so you can't pay it's not really five thing. grand a month. It's not you really gotta pay thing. it all up. Yeah, it's not really interesting. A thing. You basically need to, um, yeah, so you know, fifty grand up front or twenty five grand up front for a cheap, a, a half decent place. I think it's gotcha. probably like a nice flat three grand a month. What? I, see, that's what surprises me. People think of Dubai as the richest place on earth, which there's definitely an extreme amount of wealth. But the Airbnb that we're splitting is so much cheaper than I ever would have imagined. And it's the best location and it's brand them? new. I guess, yeah. So for a month, how much is it? $50,000. What? No. <laughs> I was like, I didn't agree to that. Uh, so for a whole month, uh, roughly, it's about four and a half thousand dollars. So we we have a two bed apartment, two bath. Brand new brand with a beautiful view. view. With underground parking, with a view. And obviously we spent that price. I mean, yeah, for four grand a month in LA. Even though you've not paid me. You, you live um, in like a, a box. Even I mean, though you've not paid me. Um, it's because you told me not to pay you. Don't worry, I am going to, I'm going to pay you. Yeah, you fucking. I'm you. never going to pay I, I've him. already reported this to the police in Dubai. <laughs> okay. So we're about to head off now to check out some of the craziest car dealerships in the entire world. And I mean that literally, no exaggeration. Dubai has some of the most insane dealers ever. I just wanted to make an introductory video to let you guys know where I'm gonna be for the next month. And I'm curious, if there's any fans out here, subscribers with cool cars, if there's any cool dealerships or exotic car rental places, reach out, send me a message on Instagram, at Vehicle Virgins, and let's film some of the coolest content out here possible. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Like always, please browse the channel and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you next video.